Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be comparing pharmacokinetics of benzodiazepines, looking at four different parameters. And before I talk about the medications themselves, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to use as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. I've put together some slides to go over this information, so let's just jump right into it. So before we get into the pharmacokinetics of the benzodiazepines, there's some terms we have to define. So the first one would be bioavailability. Bioavailability is a subcategory of absorption and is a fraction of an administered drug that reaches systemic circulation. So by definition, when a medication is administered intravenously, its bioavailability would be 100%. And the next term here to define would be elimination half-life. So this would be the time it takes for the concentration of a drug in the plasma or the total amount of the body to be reduced by 50%. In other words, after one half-life, the concentration of the drug will be half of the starting dose. So keeping those two terms that we have now have defined in mind, let's look at the pharmacokinetics of six different benzodiazepines. In this list, we'll cover lorazepam, alprazolam, diazepam, clonazepam, temazepam, as well as triazolam. We'll look at the time to peak concentration, the bioavailability, the elimination half-life, as well as excretion. So starting with lorazepam, the time to peak concentration would be two hours for lorazepam. So after two hours, you have the max concentration in your plasma or in systemic circulation. Bioavailability would be 90%, so this medication is very bioavailable. The elimination half-life would be 12 to 14 hours. And excretion, we have 7% fecal, and 88% renal. Also, you could say this is urine. For alprazolam, the time to peak concentration would be one to two hours. Again, bioavailability at 90%. And this time, the elimination half-life is 11.2 hours. So alprazolam would stay in your system for a shorter duration of time than lorazepam. In terms of excretion, we have 7% fecal and 80% renal. With diazepam, the time to peak concentration would be 1 to 1.5 hours. This medication acts relatively quickly. And the bioavailability would be greater than 90%. And the elimination half-life would be up to 49.2 hours. So if you compare this half-life to those of alprazolam and lorazepam, it looks like diazepam would stay in your system much longer than alprazolam and lorazepam. And this medication is primarily excreted renally. Now looking at clonazepam, the time to peak concentration would be anywhere between 1 and 4 hours, bioavailability 90%, and the elimination half-life of clonazepam would be 30 to 40 hours. So again, we have a, a medication that would stay in your system for a long duration of time when compared to lorazepam and alprazolam. Um, in terms of excretion, we would have less than 2% unchanged renally. For temazepam, the time to peak concentration would be 1.5 hours. Bioavailability would be somewhere between 90 and 100%. And the elimination half-life would be 8.8 .8 hours. This medication is primarily excreted renally, and we have 80 to 90% here. Finally, with triazolam, the time to peak concentration would be 2 hours. Bioavailability, 44%. So this is the first one here that is not really that bioavailable. All the other ones were above 90% or at 90%. Triazolam is at 44%. So it's less bioavailable than the other benzodiazepines on this list. The elimination half-life is very short here. This would be the shortest one out of all of these benzodiazepines. It's listed between 1.5 and 5.5 hours. So this medication would be out of your system a lot more quickly than the other benzodiazepines covered on this list. In terms of excretion, we have 9% fecal and 80% renal. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today, comparing the pharmacokinetics of six different benzodiazepines. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today. Take care.